It's October the 1st, the Halloween season has arrived. First of today's double feature, celebrating 90 years of iconic cinema, Todd Browning's Dracula. After a successful, or should I say, unsuccessful lawsuit by Bram Stoker's widow against F.W. Murnau's Nosferatu saw not all prints destroyed, the story was adapted to the stage and became a smash hit. Producer Carl Emney Jr., who had had success working with the great Lon Chaney Sr., saw this as another box office vehicle, but didn't necessarily see Bela Lugosi's potential on the big screen, and thus began looking elsewhere. From what I understand, Mr. Lugosi busted his ass trying to show the Universal executives that he was more than just a stage actor. And what happened next became history. The story tells of a solicitor who travels to Transylvania to visit an eccentric count. On the business of purchasing a property in London, he is then bewitched by the count's power and becomes his subordinate. Dracula then moves to London. New land, new home, new victims, new challenges. And it isn't too long before London society is shaken by a spate of tragedies. Full of iconic moments, lavish cinematography, and a potent, disarming performance by Bela Lugosi. This is the definitive Dracula. With Mr. Lugosi as the most imitated of them all. I have to admit, I absolutely love this because without Mr. Lugosi, you wouldn't have so many versions, so many parodies, so many great performances thereafter. Listen to them, children of the night. What music they make. <laughs> The children of the night. What sweet music they make. Music? Those animals? Children of the night! Shut up! Unfortunately, Christopher Lee wasn't a believer. Lee's interpretation was like a headmaster given a report. Mr. Harker, I'm glad that you've arrived safely. Count Dracula. I am Dracula, and I welcome you to my house. Gary Oldman, however, he loves Lugosi's performance. His comments were like, he glides through scenes. He's an otherworldly kind of person. And he even patterned his, his accent on Lugosi. When it was released, most of the critics enjoyed it, but there were a few who didn't, and the less said about them, the better. Today, the modern vampire movies are replete with blood and gore, so Mr. Lugosi's count seems tame by comparison. But he, Carl Emily, and Todd Browning changed everything. With so many sequels, remakes, foreign versions, and different interpretations of the mystique of the vampire, which has created so many legends ever since. Ah, Bella, we love you. <laughs>